this month is also the month of cooking food. So if you have been ordering it online, if you are going to the restaurant, if you are taking help of someone else to cook food, now spend some time by yourself in cooking the food and serving it. You have it as Holy Communion. This is also very important. Taking Holy Communion daily because that's how Lord Jesus Christ broke the bread when they were having their meals. There was no separate session for Holy Communion. They were already sitting for food. They were having their meals. And as Lord Jesus Christ broke the bread and before breaking the bread, he thanked Abba Father. He thanked Father in heaven for the bread. So thank him every day, each new day as you have your meals. Break the bread. Whatever you have, break it and thank the Lord for the Holy Communion. Because of this Holy Communion, when you do it uprightly, you will build and maintain your unity in Christ. If you're not united with the body of Christ, you will be left astray. You will be wandering. You will have no way to go. So obey the prophetic obey the apostolic, obey the commandments of God, do his will, to remain in his will, to remain his children, to remain his sons and daughters, be submitted. For all these things, there shall be the renewal of faith. And indeed, without faith, how will you please God? Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. We thank all those who are honoring the Lord with their wealth and for all the offerings. We bless you with a hundredfold of return. My beloved ones, if you have not yet received our Lord God Jesus Christ, if you have not yet received the Holy Spirit, we shall pray a small prayer because this repentance is at hand. Our Father in heaven, we come into your presence through our Lord Jesus Christ. And today we receive salvation. We receive Holy Spirit into our heart. Oh Lord, forgive us our sins and help us to be born again. We shall seek you, O Lord Jesus Christ, unto Zion. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. My beloved ones, with this small prayer of repentance, your sins are forgiven and you have received Holy Spirit within you. You shall walk the walk of righteousness.